You are right now watching Bitcoin price prediction using technical indicators and price action. On the hourly time frame, you're definitely going to see Bitcoin got a perfect rejection from our volume resistance level point of control and also from our very important golden pocket around 34,600 US dollars. In this video, we are going to talk about our next support level, if Bitcoin is actually going to continue its way to the downside. And also, I am going to show you a bearish indication that it's actually right now happening exactly at this specific area, around 33,000 US dollars on Bitcoin. Of course, congratulations if you actually went with the short position exactly from our resistance level. Right now, we are actually going to apply on our chart our ascending channel and first you are definitely going to see our ascending channel was actually right now broken to the downside and also right now applying our trend line support level you can definitely see our very important diagonal support level which was actually connecting our higher lows was actually also broken to the downside and this right there right now is also going to be of course considered being a bearish indication and let me right now show you where Bitcoin is right now having some kind of a price pre uh, price reaction because if you would right now apply on your chart your Fibonacci retracement. I also actually showed you that in the Twitter post today you can actually see golden pocket is going to be exactly right there. On the hourly time frame we actually also got the swing failure pattern confirmation. You can actually see our candle, this specific candle right here, actually closed above our previous low right there. And because of that, we actually got right now swing failure pattern, grabbing the liquidity of the market, stopping out the people that have their stop losses below the previous low. And of course, let's see right now if Bitcoin is actually going to continue its way to the upside. But the thing is, later in the video, I am going to show you a bearish indication that is right now definitely happening here on the Bitcoin chart. Right now, we are going to apply on our chart our range and we are actually going to measure the volume of this specific range. And you can actually right now see our value area low of this specific range is actually also going to be around the golden pocket, around 33,000, let's say 100 US dollars. And definitely where Bitcoin is at the moment, we actually do have our support level. Later in the video, I am going to talk about if you should actually go with a long or maybe even with a short position on Bitcoin. But all you need to know right now, at the moment we are at the support level and at this specific area right here, I would personally definitely not go with any of the, of the short positions on Bitcoin. If the hourly candle is actually going to close something like that, you can actually right now see. If we zoom in a little bit, on the hourly time frame, this specific candle does actually have a very big wick to the upside, very small candle body, and let me just see, of course, how this specific hourly candle is going to close. If this hourly candle does closes something like that in around 29 minutes, it's actually going to be a bearish pin bar, which is, of course, going to be a bearish candlestick pattern for Bitcoin. And also right now, what is also going to be a bearish indication for Bitcoin if we would apply on our chart actually our open interest, you can actually see open interest on the hourly time frame is definitely still decreasing to the downside. And of course, if we are right now at the support level, we would actually like to see the increase in the open interest that would actually mean that right now the new money is actually coming in the market. But as of right now, of course, if we are closing the hourly candle like that, open interest right now, it's actually still decreasing. It does look like because of that, of course, it is right now going to be a bearish indication why maybe our support level right here is actually not going to hold us. So before I actually show you right now where is going to be our very nice support level for Bitcoin, make sure you are smashing the like button because the goal for this video would actually be to reach at least 500 likes. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel because I'm doing daily Bitcoin and Ethereum price prediction and technical analysis videos every single day. Right now, we are going to apply on our chart, our channel, and you are going to see that if we go right now with our big channel, Bitcoin is actually also breaking through our middle line or our diagonal support level of our descending channel here on the hourly time frame. So, of course, this area or this diagonal support level right here previously was acting as our support level, but as of right now, we are actually below this specific area. So because of that, of course, you can maybe even say it is actually acting as our resistance level. Personally, as I said before, where we are at the moment, I would definitely not go with a short position. 
even right now if the open interest is actually still decreasing even right now if the hourly candle is going to close something like that personally after that big of a pull to the downside i would only be interested maybe taking some profits of the short position maybe even start looking to go with another long position here on the bitcoin chart right now if bitcoin is actually going to continue its way to the downside where is going to be our very important support level before our weekly we are actually also going to have our brand new weekly fibonacci pivot point our s1 weekly fibonacci pivot point right now is going to be around 32,600. but the real question you should actually have right now is should you really go with a long position around the s1 if there is only going to be one level right here if you would right now look on the hourly time frame, weekly level right now would be a little bit lower than our S1. And also applying our volume levels on our chart, value area low of the entire range right here, it's actually going to be also around our weekly support level. So because right now, if Bitcoin is going to continue its way to the downside, I would actually say, of course, S1 is going to be a key level, but I would personally not be that interested going with a long around our S1. I would much rather right now be interested maybe even going with another long position around the value area low, around the weekly support level, because there is also right now a probability we are going to form some kind of the swing failure pattern on the hourly time frame for BTC. So once again, if Bitcoin does continue its way to the downside, we maybe see swing failure of our previous low. Maybe then we also bounce around our S2 weekly Fibonacci pivot point, 31,900 US dollars. And then of course, potentially we continue our way to the upside. So once again, at the moment we are at the support level. If we do go lower, in my opinion, another very important support level for Bitcoin, around 32,000, let's say 400 US dollars. But what if right now the volume and also the open interest is actually going to kick in and Bitcoin is actually right now going to see a pull to the upside? Where is then going to be our first resistance level? We are right now, first of all, going to apply our horizontal line on our chart. And I do think I was actually mentioning this resistance level already actually in yesterday's live stream. And you can actually right now see our resistance level, if Bitcoin is actually going to see higher price targets, is going to be 33,600 US dollars, which in my opinion, of course, is going to be a key level, especially right now, if you are going to look at how nicely this resistance level, of course, also was respected in the past. And because right now, if Bitcoin does see another pull to the upside, first resistance level that I can actually see right now would actually be 33,600 US dollars if right now of course we are going to see a pull to the upside on the Bitcoin price. Also right now we are going to apply on our chart our volume from yesterday. So we can literally right now measure the volume something like that and you can right now see our value area low from yesterday is going to be right now a little bit lower 33,400 US dollars so definitely if we are going to right now go higher first resistance level I would be paying attention to would actually be around 33,000 let's say 500 US dollars with our previous day value area low volume resistance level and also of course this very nicely respected horizontal level 33,500 US dollars here on the Bitcoin chart right now we are going to go on the daily time frame where you are going to right now see that if bitcoin is actually going to close our daily candle something like that definitely you can see it's actually going to be a bearish engulfing candlestick pattern of course this would right now be a bearish indication for bitcoin but once again even if bitcoin is right now closing our daily candle something like that personally we should not be at least in my opinion we should not be interested to go with a long position or actually with a short position because of course after that big of a dump we are only interested going maybe with another long position on bitcoin so let me right now apply money flow and also rsi indicator on our chart and you can actually right now see that on the hourly time frame we are definitely right now getting into the oversold region so oversold region you can actually see what also happened right here when bitcoin was actually oversold so being oversold right now on the rsi and also on the money flow indicator on the hourly time frame is potentially signaling us that the bottom is very very close for btc but once again 
if we want to see right now that our golden pocket is actually going to close is actually going to hold of course we also want to see right now open interest increase and as of right now definitely we still do not have this open interest increase and because of that right now i would be guessing that bitcoin price right now is actually going to go lower i would actually say once again another or first support level is going to be our weekly pivot right here or then another very very important support level 32,000 let's say 458 US dollars here on the Bitcoin price another very important thing is going to be on the RSI on the daily time frame because also right here remember on the daily time frame Bitcoin on the RSI indicator is actually forming some kind of a symmetrical triangle and because of that breakout situation on the RSI is right now literally imminent tomorrow we are going to see if we are if we are going to actually see lower price targets right here or maybe we are going to see actually then some kind of a bounce on bitcoin and then of course hopefully also the rsi break to the upside out of the symmetrical triangle so in my opinion right now the plan for bitcoin should actually be very very easy we are not looking for shorts or at least personally i would not go with a short after that big way pull to the downside long position around this area 32,000, let's say 400 US dollars would in my opinion be a beautiful support level for Bitcoin where potentially you could actually be interested to go with another long position. If you haven't already, please do smash the like button because the goal for this video would actually be to reach at least 500 likes. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel because I'm doing daily Bitcoin and Ethereum price predictions and technical analysis videos every single day. Right now, you can watch one of those two videos that are popping up on your screen. Thank you for watching and peace out.